This is just a quick tutorial to show you how I made this moving light rays effect in After Effects. I will start from scratch. So I have my um, facade image here as a layer. And the first thing I want to do is create a duplicate of it. So I'm gonna to go to Edit, Duplicate, and I will remove the effects that were on that. So I have a, just a clean copy of my sort of my base uh, image. And then I want to apply a threshold effect to it. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the windows and doors a fairly sort of s solid white. So um, I'm just gonna tweak this until they're all fairly solid. Not perfect, but fairly solid. Okay, happy with that. And then I'm gonna take the pen tool and I'm going to mask around the windows and doors. Anywhere where I want light to be shining, basically I'm masking those in this layer. Door, window, Good. Now I'm going to pre-compose these white windows and doors and I do that by going to layer, pre-compose, leave all attributes in rays or move them into the new composition. I want to move them into the new composition and I'm going to call this windows. So if I solo that you can see I just have the windows and doors on this layer. And now to this layer, so with this Windows layer selected, I am going to use Radial CC Radial Blur. And the type I'm going to set to Fading Zoom. And I'm going to increase the amount so that we actually start to see an effect. So already, look, we've got some pretty cool light rays. I will set the blend mode of these light rays of the, of the layer that the light rays are on to something like lighten or, or screen, maybe screen, just so that we can um, see a bit more of what's underneath and they have a more of a illuminating look about them. But they're not moving and they are shining in a slightly weird place. It's like the source of light is in the middle here, which it is so we want to move the center of the radial blur um, by clicking yep yeah, so it's hiding behind the anchor point but there's a little symbol here that represents the center of the light source so if it were over here to the left they'd be shining over there or like this so you can probably see how i'm going to start to make this effect because this center point is you can, it can be animated, it can be keyframed, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So I want the light source to start, so I want the light, the rays to shine down, so the light source is quite high, it's up here. I'm going to move my playhead to frame zero, right, right at the beginning of my animation, and I'm going to keyframe the center, so I hit this stopwatch. Now we've set a keyframe here, and then if I were to move my playhead to the end of my animation and move this center, over here now. I expand this, expand effects, there's my radial blur. Here's my center, so automatically a keyframe has been put in here because I, I moved the center. And now it'll interpolate between those two keyframes and you have a moving light effect, which looks really nice. The last thing I will do is I am just going to tint this so that the white map white to which color well something kind of blue yeah so it really looks like the light is coming from these illuminated apertures in the building and there it is the moving light ray from the windows effect